there are many different reasons why you might want to become an entrepreneur. Maybe it's because you can't find a job that pays well enough, or you can't find something that's interesting enough or challenging enough. Or maybe you're tired for working for other people. Most people start a business because they want time, freedom, and flexibility. This is the first video of the series about entrepreneurship, helping you figure out exactly how to succeed in your entrepreneurial journey. Along with this series, I also have an entrepreneur resource library for you with free resources, no tech resource library, books, and a lot more to help you figure out everything you need for your business. In this video, let's take a look at exactly what is an entrepreneur and the characteristics of a successful entrepreneur. First, let's take a look at what is an entrepreneur. There is a lot of discussion about what makes an entrepreneur both online and offline. For example, a freelancer is not really an entrepreneur in the sense of creating a business that they can retire from and still generate passive income or sell to somebody else to keep running in the long time. An entrepreneur builds an organization that can outlast them. A freelancer earns money providing services for somebody else. But if that somebody else is out of the picture, then the freelancer won't be able to get any money. An entrepreneur also takes a financial risk that is greater than average to run their businesses, while a freelancer generally don't have a lot of expenses. Both are perfectly genuine ways to make money, but the goal is slightly different. One is to work and make money, while the other is to build something that is about more than earning money and will outlive you and continue to generate income. You can choose to call either one of these, freelancer or business owner, an entrepreneur, but technically there's a mindset difference that's very subtle. Entrepreneurs develop a business that outlives themselves, while a freelancer construct jobs that support themselves and their households. The difference is small, but it's an important distinction while talking about how to become an entrepreneur. The other aspect of entrepreneurship that's necessary to take into account is whether or not you have the personality to do it or not. Are you self-motivated? Are you motivated as a boss? If you see you're missing out on a few of the personality traits that entrepreneurs have, can you make up for it by investing in tools and resources that can help you or by outsourcing? Let's take a look at what characteristics do you need to become an entrepreneur. There are a lot of blog posts and articles you can read online about all the different personality traits that an entrepreneur needs to have. Many of them bring up the idea of being passionate about your work, but there are more important elements than passion when it comes to business success. Trust me when I say some days you will hate your business. You'll get demotivated and want to quit. Enthusiasm and passion about your work is important, but you also need to be motivated by the results. Here is a list of personalities and characteristics that you need to be effective as an entrepreneur. The first one is expertise. You need to understand what you're doing. At the very least, you need to have somebody you can depend on who understands what they're doing. You can outsource, so you don't need to know exactly how to do every little thing. Your main job as the entrepreneur is to plan, find clients, and assign the work to other people. Then there's determination. Once you start a business, you cannot quit when the first thing goes wrong. You need to be able to stick it out till you see success. If you have done the research and you have the actions planned, you need to do those things before throwing in the towel. Stay with it for a minimum of a certain amount of time before giving up. Then there's resilience. To put it bluntly, an entrepreneur needs to be able to fall and get back up instantly. Things are going to happen that trigger you to second guess yourself. This is normal. All companies and entrepreneurs have typical ups and downs. Your capability to weather these storms is what will make you a successful entrepreneur. Then there's resourcefulness. A great deal of people believe you need a lot of different resources to start a business, but in reality, you just need to be resourceful enough to recognize when you have access to something remarkable. One of your resources may be money, people, or technology. Then there's motivation. If you don't have the natural ability to motivate yourself and others to achieve the vision or goal that you have in your mind, it's going to be hard to be successful. But if you lack motivation, you can outsource to people that are motivated. Commitment is the ability to truly remain in your business 100%. You don't want to just dabble in the business. You want to do your due diligence and after that, stick to your business and do your best to make it work. Then you need to take risks. Owning and running a business is a journey that's going to be a lot like a roller coaster. There will be ups and there will be downs. Sometimes it will get very quickly in between. That's the way it is. Understand that it's okay to take risks and without the uncomfort, you'll get nowhere. Other qualities are also crucial, but when you discover that entrepreneurs have all kinds of personalities and characteristics from introverts to extroverts and everything in between, then you can recognize what makes an effective entrepreneur. Research and taking tactical forward action that helps you reach the objective you make is what it takes. In other words, take action makes you successful. You can have all the planning in the world, but 
if you don't execute and do something, nothing will happen. Once you decide on becoming an entrepreneur, the next thing you need to do is to choose which kind of business you need to start to be successful and how to continuously produce incredible systems to help you grow and scale your online business. In the next video of this series, let's take a look at exactly what that looks like. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're excited to start your entrepreneurial journey. To make sure you don't miss out on the next episode of this series, make sure to subscribe and press the bell notification. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video.